Okay, so with this time walking event being the Burning Crusade, I thought I would take the time to do something I actually wanted to do for quite some time, and that is basically just talk a bit about my World of Warcraft nostalgia, because you see that when I started playing uh, World of Warcraft, the game was in vanilla. I started an Alliance Priest. And what is interesting about that is that this was... I wasn't really... I don't really know why I started playing World of Warcraft. It's basically the game to play back then. But also, it had a bit to do with... Oh god, the Beast Hunter's pets is actually pulling the aggro, so they are actually moving me. That's not a good thing. So, we're gonna try and avoid that. Maybe we get some more aggro on ourselves. There we go. Um, and I got my priest up to level 42. I never really saw the point of the game. And that is probably because I never joined the guild. And I, I never properly joined a guild. I mean, I could talk to people in a guild, but I never actually invested in the guild itself, so to speak. And um, I think that is why I just stopped playing Warcraft together. Then again, I also was used to the entire concept of playing a monk for a game. I actually disliked it in the beginning. And I think that'll. I think I maybe spent two months in vanilla, and that was by the end of vanilla. And I remember that priest. Her the name of that priest is still kept. Uh, my paladin is named after that priest. So, but when I quit school, I created this fella. I decided that I would return to World of Warcraft and I would try out the. And I started a Blood Elf Mage, because I heard mages were easy to level. But my friend had already started a Blood Elf Mage, and he was like, No, you can't play a Blood Elf Mage, that's, that's my thing. You'll have to create something else. So I created a Troll Warrior. I don't know why I picked Troll, but I do know that I like the entire concept of the Warrior. Of course, the entire concept of the Warrior is to be basically beat down everything you see. And let me just get this over with straight away that the warrior in the Burning Crusade is not the kind of tank you see before you right now. The warrior in the Burning Crusade basically can handle one or two enemies at a time. And that was basically it. Oh, come on. Need to get more of these guys' engines. And that pretty much affected my tanking because you don't you didn't really tank effectively in the Burning Crusade as a warrior because everyone wanted paladins. Paladins could pull groups, warriors could not. And when Wrath of the Lich King came out, and we could finally you know, tank the way we were supposed to. Mines were pretty much below, so we need to pull our cooldowns here. I don't know if the healer is asleep or what's going on here, but basically we're taking a bit of a damage and we need to migrate it. So there we go. And the warrior tanks were pretty much broken throughout the burn crusade. It doesn't help that I actually leveled the character in protection in the Burning Crusade. I'm not kidding, I leveled the character as protection the entire way. And it's actually a tradition by now, I don't switch my spec when I'm leveling it, despite the fact that I can do so fairly easy nowadays. I just don't do it. And I can't really explain why, but it has become such an ingrained part of this character that I simply do not and it will pain 
And could I please get some more heal? Oh, wait. There's a poisonous cloud here. That's... Let's see those... Ah, crap. You know, this entire tanking and talking part doesn't really go all that well. I don't even know what the shaman is doing. Is he AFK? Because I need to check the healing done. Oh, um... Absorbs... Oh, wait. Count. Show... What's going on there? Healing taken? Oh, and the top healer for... is myself. I wonder if they're actually gonna revive me before they pull the boss, but we'll see. Uh, but basically, I am the person who healed myself the most, so... Of course, we have the RP troll speak and everything like that, so let's do a bit of drugs and there we go. Now, the thing about this little troll fella right here is that his name, I don't really know where it came from, but it's Genjola, and I think it came from basically trolls are Jamaican stereotypes, so, yeah, um, I would rather not explain that forever. I was 18, okay? So, he stayed with me for quite some time, I mean, he's still considered to be my main character, so, I'm going to be perfectly honest, he's not really the, per the character I play the most. And, uh, I basically, due to the fact that, and this is a topic I'm gonna touch, touch more upon later, is the fact that, yeah, let's just, I was losing my thread here. I'm not really good at talking and, um, tanking at the same time, so the entire concept of this video may have been, yeah, so... I quite early found a guild, and what attracted me to this guild was the role-playing aspect. I wasn't a good role player, but hey, everyone knew at the beginning. And it was a very interesting time to learn the role-playing, and the entire concept was that since Sporigar, the server I'm still playing on, and was a new server, there was far too many Blood Elves in the Horde, because it had launched with the Burning Crusade. So basically everyone and their mother had rolled a Blood Elf, and there were just far too many Blood Elf guilds out there and stuff like that. So the Thunderwolves were basically the honor of the Horde guild. I heard it said that Garrosh and uh, Sylvanas basically have the Torrents, Troll, and in part the Orcs thank for their new members. They are the ones that impress the new members. It's not really the leaders or the policy of the Horde or anything like that. It is basically a uh, good PR from the more honorable members. And that was basically what we're trying to well, not really to replicate, but it was uh, it was a trick to beating these guys. I just can't remember it. Uh, yeah, never mind. Let's just try not to die again, alright? And these this guild, Thunderwolves, was I can't really describe what it was, but it I mean, it's what, well, once you join the community in this game, I mean, it was, it felt like part of a team, especially when I was promoted to one of the officers. Ironically, I was promoted to the officer, and I don't know if that was an excuse to, uh, if that was an excuse to just give me an officer, or if I applied for it. I don't remember what happened, but basically, I was I was given an officer position. It's kind of a responsibility, and I got friends in Thunderwolves. I mean, I've done some traveling and thanks to 
Thunderbolts. And oh, uh, I think it was a huge mistake pulling all these guys. Huge fucking mistake. So let's spam shield block and yeah. And that's the oh crap, I'm dead again. This is embarrassing. This is just embarrassing. I mean, I shouldn't die on a fucking time walker. I can't say if it's me or the healer, but I'm usually inclined. I had to make that joke. At least that was the case back in the Burning Crusade. And the thing is, my reputation as a tank will most likely not suffer too much because of this. But back in the Burning Crusade, it could. And it could also reflect back on your guild in a way that you don't see today. Because name changing and race changing and server transfers, they are a much more natural part of the game than it was back then in a very... so... But then again, dying twice in an instance wasn't that uncommon either for that matter. Go away. Thank you. And they are gone. Nice. At any rate, um, I'm going to show you something. I'm just going to see where I can find it. Uh, I, there we go. There we go. As you can see, this is not the true Thunderwolves. And it kind of irks me that it's not the same guild, but I was actually part of disbanding the Thunderwolves. And... I still remember it as a very emotional decision. And... Yeah. I can actually con ease, quite easily conjure up where we were when we took that decision. Because we basically took the entire decision in, in RP. So, come here. You. That's a 50 DKP minus. Now... Uh, all joking aside, uh, I still remember where where we officers were when we disbanded the Thunderwolves, and I spent a lot of time guild jumping after that. And if you're not familiar with the term guild jumping, it's basically when you change guild very often. And back in the Burning Crusade, this did not reflect well on your character. I had found the Thunderwolves to be such a nice group of friends that when I didn't get that experience with farming guilds, I was I was left disappointed. And I'm gonna be so honest as to say that I don't think I felt so at home as I did with the Fundables. I got friends through Fundables. I mean real friends whom I actually met in real life. Hell I went I went to London. My first trip uh, abroad alone, and I mean really alone, I didn't have uh, anyone with me, uh, was to London, where I met a fellow troll, Kaza. And it was a very interesting experience. I mean, I had, I had, I had talked to Kaza with, over VOT, but I mean, it was the first time I met someone over the internet from another country. And I did more stuff like that. I mean, I had another friend. I'm not gonna mention her name. Uh, basically, because I fucked everything up. I'm going. To, I'm going to be perfectly honest about that. I fucked everything up. She came to Sweden, and when she left, we weren't friends anymore. And that was my fault. But still, I mean, that's the kind of friendship could forge 
in the community driven environment that was the Burning Crusade. And yeah, so we, we better try and focus on surviving this. And we're incapacitated, that's not good for us, that's not good for our team. Oh, come on. I wish they could just stop that here. Take some capac- oh crap, crap, crap. <sighs> Third time's the charm, eh? I kept getting mauled by these guys. I don't know if they've actually made these instances harder or if it's just Alcatraz just being an utter pain in my fucking ass. Because, I mean, time walking used to be a breeze. And for some reason, it stopped being that. And I think the, part of the reason why that is, is because um, um, they must have altered something in... At least that's what I'm thinking. Or it's always been this difficult at time walking, but I shouldn't die like that. So, now that we've discussed the... What's the, basically went, one of the things that went wrong. The results of stuff that went right. I mean, we had sister guilds from other parts and some of them were elves and... I went to Oslo and attended a wedding for two of our sister guilds uh, members. And that was one of the most amazing things I've ever done. I mean, the, they are such terrific people. I haven't been able to meet them since. And... Yeah. So that's the kind of memories I have of World of Warcraft. And... It's hard to shake them off. Especially as... With Vanilla being... Being uh, announced... I can't help but think that is that po is that community feeling going to return? Because if they're smart, they'll lock the vanilla realms out of real ID. I mean, I sincerely mean it. If they're smart, they will not have any sort of real ID system in place on vanilla. <laughs> And the reason I say that is because um, part of the ah uh, crap, there's more of them now. We need to just focus them down. You can't just AOE spam these guys. You need to take them out. Thank you. Nice work. And incapacitated. And that's the thing. I want people to be reputable by their name. Not real ID, not anything like that. You, basically, if you have a friend in World of Warcraft Vanilla, they should have to tell you their name. I don't think that's going to be the case. I think that real ID and similar systems is going to be in Vanilla. But I still have to say that I'm kind of curious to see how they will go about it. Oh crap. Man down, man down. And I'm incapacitated again. Oh, come on, that's really annoying. Get over here. It's me you want to use. Come on, get back here. And 
someone just left the instance group. That's not good. Let's see if we can find someone else to fill the spot. can RP in a dungeon, you should always RP in a dungeon. So, uh, we have Hadia Delilah and Wrath Scribe Socrates basically left, so... Oh god, these guys. So we need to take him out, and do it quickly, and... Yeah. And... The thing is, I've actually had a World of Warcraft addiction at the time, and I would it wasn't actually during the, re the reign of the Thunderwolves. It was later, during uh, Wrath of the Lich King, when I went Alliance. This stinks. And uh, I had an Alliance Shaman. And the nice thing about having an Alliance Shaman was that I had friends on the Alliance side who basically only knew me by reputation as a wild form. So they basically just said, hey, do you want to join one of the best raiding guilds on the entire server? So I went on Max Mass uh, run with them and uh, it turned out alright and I started to join their raiding and that was an amazing feeling. And, you know, back then there wasn't any look raid or something like that, so what if the only way you could see current content was to actually be in a guild that raided. And the thing was, it took far too much of my time. And I think it was by the time I've actually rushed home from my father and the day after rushed from, a, from an actual fucking dinner just to go to that I decided that no, I'm not doing this raiding guild nonsense. So let's just bring him down. Uh, reflex bait. Oh, that's actually a fist. I can't actually vote yes to that, but. I need to clean out my bags. And we need to wait for a fifth member to just finish the Alcatraz. I like my women dumpy and droopy with halitosis. Alright, so we got the last guy. So let's take this ever dog down, make sure got shield locked up and ouch oh god the demon hunter looks like we actually got some DPS in, this, in the form of that new member of us Yeah, that's a mage. Looks like. There we go. Next one is down, and I think I think we're missing someone. I don't know where the Harbinger actually is. Uh, we're supposed to take down a Harbinger Skyris, and I don't remember where the fucker is. I mean, really do not remember where he is. This stinks. Yeah, may most likely that door holds the answer, so. You know, once you're dead, 
Nothing smells bad anymore. I heard Rotten that you cut eggs, off an no problem. It'll regenerate Dead a fish, bigger. like a spring breeze. I heard a knee slapper once and skipped my kneecap right across a lake. Basically, me and the undead major basically trading jokes. You don't need deodorant when you don't have any armpits. So let's take out the sentinel and bring it down. Down it goes. So I think that Wrath of the Lich King was basically my awakening. I played Cataclysm on launch, but it wasn't the same kind of dedication that I had to game. I think that, in a sense, I've grown, uh, not really grown apart from it, but I didn't really have the connection to the game anymore. I still consider, uh, I do however play every expansion. I mean, I usually play the, the uh, beginning and the end of, uh, the beginning beginning at the end of an expansion. Th the same thing has been done with Legion, and I've done so with Cataclysm, and I've done so with pretty much everything save Warlords of Draenor. Warlords of Draenor, I did not even level, completely level my character, where I just got sick of it all. And, I mean, Warlords of Draenor was not necessarily a bad expansion, but as a I enjoyed Warcraft lore and just having inventing an alternate Draenor was just fucking stupid. So, yeah, we're close to the last boss now. And I think that I played so enough in Legion, I mean, but not really enough. I mean, I only have one day played on level 110 compared to 117 days total on this character. That should tell you something how little I played lately. And I'm going to be honest, I, I've probably played Legion a lot more on my Shaman, uh, sorry not my Shaman, my Paladin and my Warlock. But Still, it's, it's nowhere near the same numbers. I would say that... I don't, I don't really mind Legion as an expansion. I think Legion as an expansion is good. It has uh, a pretty nice connection to the lore. It sells, it sells some uh, stuff that... ...for loose ends and stuff like that. Some of it um, just on small quests. But I can live with that. Let's finish off that Seder for a second. There we go. Ah, crap! I had hoped that I would just finish off the... And of course we have to run from the beginning. I mean, there's a lot of wiping going on here. It's... I don't know if it's the instance or if... Or what's going on here, but... Oh god, I'm gonna die again. Let's ignore the pain and run for it. I had to blow my cooldown some trash. I'm beginning to think that this instance is not the kind of breeze I expected it to be. Oh god. Come on. How... I mean, I can't even fathom how I would be arsed to do this under the Burning Crusade level. Oh god, there's more than... Let's kill them. Let's kill them because I hate them. At least it's consistent with, uh, shall we say, uh, 
the Burning Crusade standards. I can give it that much. It's consistent with the Burning Crusade standards. In that we are wiping far too much. Oh, apparently I got all the soul prisms I need for the hunt for Illidan Storm Rage quests. That's kind of interesting because I last time I checked I needed a fuckload of them. And I wasn't actually bothered to get them, so... I suppose I'll have no choice but to turn that quest in and see what happens. Maybe I'll have to solo Gul'dan at some point or stuff like that. All joking aside. Um, it's When you end up in the end of a raid tier like this and... I mean... Legion flying being a grind and Legion and uh, yeah everything basically being a grind means that since I don't have that time behind me in the game I never actually played the, the part where I had to grind the stuff and it was in the current tier so uh, I don't even have Legion flying and I I missed that during leveling, believe me. But at the same time, it also means I rely less on flying, uh, have more challenge encounters, stuff like that, so... I'm not gonna click something that says innocent looking treasures chest. I'm just not going to do that. So, almost there. Just around the corner. At any rate, ah, oh, crap, someone pulled him. Let's take him out. Come on. And our healer is dying. Healer is dead. And our healer is alive. And we have more demons that needs to be killed. Get over here. It looks like we have to pull them one at a time, just like the old days. Come on. Why do I have to be stunned? Ah, crap. I don't want to die! Uh, I need to be healed up before... Oh, crap. He pulled the guy. <sighs> Whoever thought it was a nice idea to pull when, I mean, Tank had like 20% HP needs to be considered their life choices. Target. Yeah, we should hopefully be good. Uh, the warden is almost defeated. We just need to kill this guy. We have done a lot of dying during this instance. And I mean a lot. I'm actually surprised at how much dying we've done. So die, die, die! You release the prisoners! 
The Naru kept some of the most dangerous beings in the Let me introduce you. Now, stop introducing me to pris your prisoners. Come on. We can do this. Oh, this is gonna be a no. This is gonna be a no. We're in Bonzo's brass buttons, am I? And who is yeah! <laughs> What is this? A lowly gnome? I will do better, oh great one. Lowly? I don't care who you are, friend. No one refers to the mighty Millhouse Menastorm as lowly. Oh, I forgot about this uh, encounter. I will gladly your fight against And down he goes. I'm gonna run out of mana, man. Millhouse mana storm. And down we go. So I realize there's not much talking going on here, but basically I've just covered the nostalgia portion of it, so I'm gonna try to cover more on the next instance. Once we start wiping, I had to start taking this instance a bit. Once we've defeated this boss and repair it up and stuff like that. Yeah, that's not gonna end well. Bear witness to the agent of your demise. So this guy likes to rent our mics and kill him for that. I don't like having my mind rented. No, I'm not gonna flee in terror, you fucking twat. I don't think you actually get an explanation for what exactly the Harbringers are. I don't think they're only gods. And I'm not sure they are Void Lords. But I think Void Lords are actually more the, the more plausible expla explanation. One of the illusions goes down. And make sure they are both for the future. Nice. And the last guy. And we did it. Nice. 
we actually got a very tiny choker and we got a quest item that will give us more money. Uh, but pretty much everyone just fled the instance the moment they could and I can't really blame them for it. So let's jump on, on our dragon and see about getting some repairs done. And of course, what brings you here? Finish oh, that wow. quest, and oh yeah, we can't actually finish everything here. But I'm gonna take this lovely opportunity to empty my bags too. And right off the bat, I'm going to most. Oh, I still have some iron horde scraps from back when I was actually grinding for RP sets. And I'm not gonna have all the time in the world to sort out the bags now. So I'm just gonna satisfy myself with, first of all, checking, yeah, level 61. Uh, I think, hell, my warlock have a higher weapon. Uh, weapon number than that but it's kind of nice to fly around Chatra. I mean uh, I had this RP going on that I was a Chatra peacekeeper I even got the gear and everything that's kind of cute and yeah the band is not playing anymore as far as I know it would be nice if they did but I'm fairly certain they don't so Let's just jump up on our raptor and see if we can't find... Yeah, this is where the daily quests used to be. It used to be. And there's even a Children's Week quest here in Chatra. Still. That's actually kind of neat. I'm not going to do the Children's Quests, but... I think we're going to fly back to Alder Rise. I'm not welcome on the Squires tier. And the reason is because I chose the Eldor and not the Squires. Basically the Elders was the shit if you were a healer or if you were a tank. But if you were DPS you should pick the Squires basically. Uh, I need to repair my armor but I have completely forgotten where you cannot actually do that in Shatra. So I'm gonna see if engineering All supplies. Right yeah, this guy, this guy can actually repair our stuff for us. And I think we are going for going to tank another time walk dungeon. Instant dungeon queues. There is nothing better than that. Well, to be fair, there's a lot of better things than that, but hey. The devil is in the details, and fuck it, the slave pens. Not the slave pens. The horror. The horror of the slave pens. So, all we have to do now is kill our way through the slave pens. Which is one of the more horrible experiences you can have in this game. Uh, because the slave pens and uh, basically the other ones, very similar instances, are just boring. Plain boring. Let's kill these guys. I'm just gonna check that my drugs are still active, and yes, they are so nice. <sighs> but back then, getting instantly into an instance, it just didn't happen. I mean, it just did not happen. If you were to visit an instance in uh, in the Burning Crusade or stuff like that, you actually had to recruit people in the public channel, and once that was done, you had to go to the entrance itself. 
And that was kind of an interesting experience because sometimes people would refuse to heal once back in one of the instants, despite the fact that they were close and stuff like that. Stuff. But at the same time, it would also mean that you ran into an engagement with the, with, uh, the alliance or stuff like that. So. There was actually a lot of things that just could go wrong. Onwards we go. And I can still loot the flame caps and aim position and stuff like that. Uh, my troll has been a herbalist uh, herbal alchemy for as long as I can remember. I don't think. It, I think he dabbled with blacksmithing for a while, but he gave it up. Uh, I think he gave it up by the same time I realized that blacksmithing items and stuff like that are never going to be better gear. And uh, will most likely take a longer time still, so... There we go, and he's down. We're coming up on one of the first bosses soon. The basically the guy who betrayed all these broken Ranai to the Naga. Not a very nice fella. It's kind of interesting to see that my tank is basically above my regular spear so we're feared into something. And no, you do not get to heal, because if you heal, we are gonna be here for quite a while. I do not have the patience for that. And we're feared again, but thankfully we are also locked in place, meaning that we're not going anywhere, so we're not pulling anything extra. Down you go, and let me charge you, and let me take care of you. In case you're wondering what you're yelling, basically we're fighting the full of uh, At this point in time, Illidan basically over Outland, the real planet of Ranor, and he was the main villain in the entire expansion. Most of the things he fought belonged to the living. I wouldn't say that Illidan is an anti hero or something like that. I would just say that I find Illidan overused in this point. And if you're asking me, adding demon hunters at all just feels weird. I can get the fact that they're adding them as a playable class and everything, but no. And let's take it back. Actually feels a little bit tedious at this point. Let's get that guy. I think part of the tediousness is that the music is pretty much If there's something I always loved about, uh, always loved about World of Warcraft, it has been the music, the music in most of the games. It's we're still second on the DPS chart. Not very surprising considering the fact that we are tank and we do most AOE damage. Basically, every single attack on craft now I die just because of that. Um, 
Every single attack I have, with some exceptions, are AoE. So I'm go basically gonna say that the DPS could be better. But I'm not blaming them for it, because uh, most of the DPS we have here are not AoE DPS, and Demon Hunter have far more tools than Priest and Monk when it comes to AoE DPS. But at least we've done a lot less dying than we done uh, with yeah, the priest is still alive, so if he just survives a bit longer, we can help him out. Yeah, there we go. I'm just gonna check my talents, so I'm actually... I actually have the talents necessary. <sighs> yeah, I'm a bit tired right now. It's been a long day. And not everything, not everything, because they have now died in that matter, so. Like, wiping it off. Crap, not good. So let's go, and. Oh. Down you go, and good. About so, uh, when it comes to from Vanilla, I do actually plan on trying it out. I'm, I would say that I'm actually a bit intrigued by it, because there has been a lot of private servers and stuff like that. I would have played on a private server had I not been convinced that my pro progress will disappear. And I think th that... Um, that is going to be one of the biggest selling points of vanilla that... I actually think it might take out... take the... Pirate Realms out of the equation. Because... Vanilla as it is... It's obviously a big, big thing still, and uh, it's gonna be interesting to see it all again. But like I said, I really hope they don't bring any actual real idea into it. Just make sure that the only way you can be identified on the servers is by your name. And the reason I want that is that, I mean, it's, uh, if they're gonna go with vanilla, they have to replicate the entire experience. Uh, they can't just go around fixing the bugs uh, and stuff like that, because it has to be... It just has to be the way people remember it. And if that means the game will be difficult, or that, that it's gonna be downright unfair at times, yeah, I'm down with that, because... Don't make me kill you. Actually, we are gonna kill you, because you betrayed your people, and you don't like people who betray their people. And some more totems that we may have to actually destroy. Seriously, the DPS I got for this game is insufficient to say the least. We, do, we really only have one choice, and that is to actually complete complete it. I refuse to contemplate any other option. Uh, 
I just want to see. I mean, is the other one. Are the other ones AFK? I mean, just look at these figures with this fight. They shouldn't be that skewed. And they are very skewed. I mean, as the tank on a single target, I should never do this man. Now. now, as you can see, spread out over the instance, the demon hunter is in the lead. But if you just go this fight, uh, the demon hunter is second to both me and please. That's just weird. So, I'm gonna be using up these now. Uh, level my artifact at this point. So, Rockmod Crackler is our next guy to take it. Unfortunately, there's not that much left. And down they go. Seems like people are far more efficient once there are more than one target. I know that goes for me as well, but still. Well, it could be worse. It could be the fucking underboss. And if there's some one instance I would really not like to play, it's the underboss. Because the underbog is handsome, the underbog is hell, the underbog is pretty much everything I don't want to deal with right now. If I had to choose an instance I actually would have liked to run, it would be Hellfire Citadel. Because Hellfire Citadel is not a long instance. And it's far easier to gauge how long you still actually have to go with. This instance I barely remember because no one was running it. Uh, slave Pants and similar were middle. It's basically in the middle of your leveling. So, unless you were going heroic, and if you went heroic you had far more choice on where to go. Uh, you wouldn't really revisit this place all that much. Get up here. Thank you. Uh, did someone just die? Yes, they did. And we should fall back before we manage to pull the entire next attack. So. Let's just take him out. And they're gone. Nice. And uh, all we need to do now is wait a bit and we need to go to in that direction I think or no I can't actually remember it might just be holy crap I just forgot where we're supposed to go oh there's a way out there so nice Yeah, we're on the right track. Nice. I'm out of range. And 
down you go, and that should be the end of that. Of course, we still have a large number of mobs to fight through, but we're still almost at the second boss, and the third boss is actually not far away. Slaypence is not that big, that big of a dungeon, actually. Especially not compared to some of the other ones. So, let's do the boss. Rogma the Crackler. And I'm gonna make sure he's far enough away not to pull any health. I'm fairly happy the Burning Crusade actually made sure that Uh, did not always have to clear the entire area before engaging a boss. Before there were there were boss encounters that had to do that, but slave pens is not one of those areas. Of course, this means there's a fair amount of more or less going on where people basically feel they can go giver and giver. And I'm getting really tired right now, so this looks like it's going to be my last time looking for today because I don't think I can handle a third one. I mean, I am really tired right now. Basically, why do I not just lay myself down on the couch and go to sleep tired? That has its advantages too. Uh, but right now, I'm just going to try and clear out the last few things. Basically, I had an idea about doing this streaming, and then I realized that... Or rather, I didn't realize the fact that I was far too tired to do it effectively. So, basically, you are just watching someone ramble on and on and on. And I'll leave with soft sleep, and... Why oh, crap. I was gonna say until he wipes everything, and right what from the mistake I just did, that is a very real possibility, because I, I should not have been doing that, I should not have been doing that, crap. I can get away with doing shit like that if we have a ton of DPS. Right now, we don't have a ton of DPS, in fact, we have the, quite the opposite of a ton of we have very little DPS, and thankfully, ah, crap, I wanted to pull one of my Ace of the Holes, my artifact skill, and it didn't work, so at least we have Shockwave, right? I'm also going to admit that temporary burst of adrenaline woke me up. Not enough for me to actually be able to get a laugh out, but enough for me to simply acknowledge the fact that, oh god, you're dead. So, we mock the foolish man, the foolishness of the elf, and proceeded to combat the a very scary in our hands. So down they go. And I am being feared. Not that it matters, there's really nothing to actually fear me into, and that's nice. So we have what I can only assume is one of the last packs dungeon. Clear out, and... Uh, 
One down. And they are just... It wasn't the last one though, but it was one of the last ones. Uh, we have most likely what is the last guy is right around the corner, unless he's just... There's just a ton of bad guys in that area. And fear. Thankfully, we have a method to deal with fear. And done. Of course, that doesn't mean we are anywhere close to actually finishing this because. We still have at least two or three packs to clear before we can... Yeah. Two packs. Or at least it's two... Oh, crap. I don't know who the fuck pulls those guys. It's gonna be crazy. Alright, I don't know if we should pull the last guys up there. We'll see if they can cure the disease or not. Naga upstairs or basically. Yeah. yeah, let's just fuck this guy. No one ever wants to deal with a big fucking giant, so we're just feeling that nah. Oh and this is not the instance where you have to watch up a bunch of things it At least not as far as I remember. No, that's the, the underbog where it's really big and it's totally nice. Oh crap, I just remembered something. Um, I haven't actually, I'm, I need to find it now quickly, very quickly. Uh, so just content before we kill this guy. Uh, start quest, except there we go. I hadn't actually gotten the entire time we done the complete thing. So if I had killed this guy without accepting that quest, uh, I would have been in a position where I still needed to do five fucking things at the moment. And I'm, I'm not that much in love with uh, the Burning Crusade that I feel like doing five of them. So I'm just going to leave and I'm going to thank you guys for tuning in to this tanking and talking session and catch you guys later. Thanks and bye.